that path. Go, go. All right, hold up. That's it, baby. You just can't, you can't let off. This is the Iron Man bumper, uh, front bumper for the 100 series Land Cruiser. I bought it in 2020 for $900 um, and I've had to modify it over the years um, as the rocks have kind of conformed it to the shape of my front end. Um, I thought I'd take you through some of the mods that I've done to it um, and a few things that I've learned along the way. I honestly, still recommend this bumper to someone who's looking for a, a budget option um, but if you're looking to do some extreme rock crawling or you know off-roading that probably involves hitting the front end you should just be aware that you are going to hit everything with this bumper it, it it's just unavoidable um, it's not high clearance but it works if you reinforce it I've got a Smitty built 12,000 pound winch behind there. I use it because I've got a warranty on it. Um, I've actually burned out a winch in the past, so having that's helpful. But you can see some of the, the damage from, from the rocks. Um, like I said, you'll probably wind up hitting this bumper on virtually every obstacle you encounter if you're doing heavy off-roading. Um, it's not designed for high clearance, but it is pretty stout. Um, and it's also, it's rated for a, uh, for airbag safety in Australia, which is why there are these crumple zones here um, and one on the other side. Uh, but, if you want to reinforce it in such a way that it will not just fold in all the time, you've got to make it essentially less safe for the road. Um, so it's a balance of what, what you're looking for in a bumper. Um, I've actually welded. There are two pieces. There's the frame mount, which is also the winch mount. You can see the winch back, back up in there. Um, and then there's the actual, the wing and the, the fascia. I welded those two pieces together. Um, and actually on this side, my weld broke free. So I'm going to have to re-weld that in just a minute here. But on this side, it's still mostly held together. Um, these bolts here, well, that one there, that really long one, is an upgraded bolt uh, from the ones that are provided in the kit because I actually sheared two of them off um, one on both sides, one on each side um, which are supposed to hold the, uh, the bumper in place <laughs> well I don't think they're doing a very good job anymore <laughs> uh, cracked off a nice piece of trim ruined my coax run for the antenna These have held a little bit better. You can see that one's crooked. It's because it's it's bent. Um, I took an impact at the most recent event that I went to. Um, and it kind of folded in. The toe points are sold separately, but they actually work great for um, you know, you'll just like 
come up to a rock and smack the the toe point, which is why all the powder coat is completely gone. But it does a great job of protecting everything up in here, which would then be hit if you don't have a skid plate system. Um, I've had a skid plate system, but it's just the factory front, and I'm getting rid of it pretty soon. When the front of the bumper gets hit, the wing smashes up into the fender, and it will close this gap between your hood and fender. On this side, it's a little bit more exaggerated. But um, you can tell that gap is much, much closer than it ought to be. Um, and that's because this this piece smashed in there. So I went ahead and removed a lot of material from the bumper just to avoid that. I drilled a few holes and bolted the controller to the front of the bumper here. And then I also wired up a switch to the cabin so that I can control my winch from the driver's seat. Um, but this way, it's all easily accessible. Anybody could could grab it. And I do really like the fact that they have these massive holes um, so that you can reach in and turn your winch uh, to free spool or engage the clutch, which is super helpful. Um, the rubber bumpers have all but pretty much come off on uh, on this one it actually did tear away um, I hit these on rocks and you know when it's pressed into a rock and then slides to the side it'll rip the bolts out of the back of the arm so that's definitely something to be aware of but really you know, I mean, it's got high lift jack mounts, or jack points. The fog lights are, are fine. They're both broken, but that's probably my fault. The blinkers work, and I mean, it's a good bumper. It just, you hit it on all sorts of rocks all the time. Those are some of the worst looking welds I've ever seen, but, you know, I think they'll hold. I guess we'll find out.